Hi, I'm Stephen Lee and welcome to Audio Trends TV. Today we'd like to talk to you about radios. The first radio broadcast in Australia was organised by George Fisk from AWA fame. That was back in 1919 when he arranged for the national anthem to be broadcast from one building to another just after he'd given a lecture on the new medium to the Royal Society of New South Wales. However, it took until the 1930s before transmissions commenced in earnest and the AWA transmitter in Sydney was at one time the tallest structure in Australia. The warm, rich sound of some of those vintage valve or tube radios is still sought after by collectors. During the 1950s, however, the small, compact transistor radio had started to appear in the shops but by the mid-70s, degenerated to a low-quality bedroom clock radio like this one from GE. They had absolutely awful sound and for those who can remember, were difficult to operate. Enter Henry Kloss. Henry was a brilliant audio engineer during the last 50 years of the 20th century. In fact, some people actually call him a pioneer in the audio industry. Now, he remembered how the old radio sounded and was determined to do something about it with his business partner, Tom DeVestro, under the Tivoli Audio brand. The Model 1 AM FM table radio, which we see here in beautiful dark walnut, was released in 2000 and is still the number one seller after more than 10 years on the market. The first thing you'll notice is the simple, timeless mono design. Yes, it's high quality mono. Rather than cram two tiny cheap speakers into one small enclosure, Kloss chose to provide crisp, rich sound from a single, well-designed speaker which handles highs, mids and lows with amazing ease. Model 1 also has a high sensitivity, discrete component FM tuner that features the same innovative signal detection technology found in mobile phones. The large tuning dial is geared down to a 5 to 1 ratio so that turning the knob results in smaller, more precise movements of the tuning mechanism. Out back, the Model 1 has an auxiliary input for an iPod or CD player, a headphone jack and a record output jack which allows it to be used as a tuner in a hi-fi system. It can even be run on 12 volt DC which is great for campers. Consumer choice with the Model 1 is extensive. First, we have the original matte timber finishes with a variety of front fascia options, and these have been popular since day one. However, a few years ago, the Platinum series was introduced with high gloss finishes in dark walnut and piano black. However, we now have a brand new contemporary look with the release of the Frost White series. The cabinet is finished in high gloss white but with a variety of bright, bold colours, including Ember Red, Atlantic Blue, Snow White, Kelly Green, and Sun Yellow. Of course, Henry and Tom didn't just stop with the Model 1. The Model 2 adds a second speaker for stereo sound. It is also available in both matte and platinum finishes. And to prove that clock radios can be simple to operate and still sound great, there is the Model 3. It is also available in a choice of colours. The top of the range in the table radios is the music system. It delivers AM FM stereo sound via two superb front firing speakers. And these in turn are complemented by a down firing subwoofer. It also has an inbuilt CD player for those times when the radio is just not enough and of course it comes with remote control. This is a solid unit that looks absolutely incredible in both the matte finish as seen here or the high gloss finish as found in the Platinum series. Now if you think that's all there is to the Tivoli Audio story then stay tuned for the next development. Of course if you'd like more information please visit our website. Until next time, happy listening.